Hello everyone, and today I'm going to talk about an interesting concept called SWIG, uh, which is basically a wrapper um, around C++ code, uh, such that you can use C++ code in Python or any other language. Um, in this example that I'm going to show later, um, I will be making uh, bindings for Python so um, uh, it works a little bit different. It might work a little bit differently for other languages, but uh, it might not be that different. Um, <clears throat> uh, right, so what's SWIG? As I said, uh, it's basically a, a layer between uh, C++ and any other language. In this case, it's uh, between C++ and Python. Uh, and why would we actually need something like this. Well, Python is a very uh, versatile language, but it's not particularly fast. On the other hand, C++ uh, is very fast, but it is a bit, uh, uh, it might be a bit harder to use. Uh, so why, why don't we just simply combine the better of both worlds? Uh, and that's what actually SWIG is, do what SWIG is doing. So it will basically uh, it will basically take uh, C plus C plus plus code and it will make it pi file uh, that that we can use and uh, uh, work with it just as if it were like a normal Python code. So so that's that's what Swig is doing. Um, how to actually first install Swig? Well, because I'm using the Anaconda ecosystem uh, for Python, I will show you how it's done with with uh, Anaconda. Um, I don't know exactly how to do it with other uh, other Python installations, but uh, I think uh, most of you guys use Anaconda anyway. So let's just follow this tutorial. Um, so. First of all, I've already installed uh, SWIG for uh, for Python. Uh, so normally you would do conda install SWIG, and that's gonna install the SWIG uh, uh, package uh, in for Python. Uh, I can show you that I have it installed. Beware SWIG, um, and it's just uh, telling me that it's installed somewhere in the uh, Anaconda directory. Um, right, so let's assume that we have installed uh, SWIG and uh, now I think we are getting to the bottom to, of, of, of the problem. We will be uh, talking about what do we actually need to, to build the, uh, the Python module uh, from the C++ inputs. So to get there, uh, we need to talk about interface file. Uh, we need to actually create the C++ file, C++ files, and then we need some setup uh, file that is basically a Python file that's gonna do all the all the work. So let's start with uh, you know creating some C++ code. I will explain this interface file and the setup file a bit later. So let's start with C++ code. I'm now in a directory where is, there is pretty much nothing there. Um, so let's, uh, let's create a simple uh, C++ uh, function. Um, okay, let's do vim example C++ and uh, let's jump into the insert mode. And uh, let's assume that uh, we will be uh, doing something super basic, uh, but hopefully uh, representative enough so that you get the, the full picture. So let's just create a function that will take a vector of doubles, of doubles and it's going to compute square uh, of every element of the vector. So let's, let's do it. Vector double. Let's call the function, for example, square, and it's going to take uh, um, vector of 
Chubby. Uh, look. And uh, then it's going to just simply iterate through the vector. Uh, so let's do a for loop here. For i is equal to zero. Sorry. the hell this is like my keyboard i is uh, smaller than vector size i plus plus and then vector i is equal to vector i times vector i so super basic code and uh, after we get this, the squares of each element then we just uh, return this vector that's it um, yeah to to use the vector uh, we need to import also the uh, or include the uh, 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 the vector elements from the standard template library. I will do it in the header file. So let's just refer here to the header. So include header dot or maybe let's call it example dot h. That's it. All right. That's it. Let me save this and then let's create the, the header file then example page so oh, what's gonna be here uh, so first of all let's do the the header guards so if Example of H define H and if um, then we are going to include the uh, uh, the vector from the standard template library. So include vector uh, and um, then we will be using also let's just make our life simple using namespace st to avoid you know, typing uh, the two columns every time we refer to vector um and then the header for the function that we have created in the cpp file will be vector double square Vector double leg. That's it. Let's save this. So now we have these two files in the folder. Um, and uh, we have done this part of the of the second bullet point. Uh, next thing that we need and that's actually a component of SWIC is a so-called interface file so let's create an interface file let's call it example.i so the extension is always i for the interface file so let's do it vim uh, example.i and uh, this is a critical file for uh, for SWIG because it basically tells it how to how to what what to from what to build the uh, uh, the Python library so uh, we start by naming uh, the output library as a, as a module so as a particular module so so the module name 
will be example in this case. Don't forget to add the percentage symbol here because that's kind of uh, how the interface file reads the, the commands. Then we need the following statement. Uh, we need to define what we include. So we will include um, example.h then we have to include std vector i as you can see this has something to do with the uh, standard template library and and the vector uh, vector class from there so this is actually a must otherwise uh, it is still sweet how to how to read vectors uh, in a, in a, in the C++ code so this is a very critical uh, piece of this uh, uh, example file then we will be using the namespace std so let's just use using namespace std and mm, what we also need to include uh, is basically a template for for the vector so uh, let me just write the line first and then I will explain double vector vector So basically, this line tells uh, Swig that uh, we will be using uh, the vector object uh, from uh, from the standard template library, and Swig needs to have some kind of template defined for this uh, for this object. So if you wanted to use, for example, a matrix, which is a vector of vectors, then you, what you would do is that you would define template. Uh, double 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 vector and then you would do vector vector double like this right so this this is if you wanted to use a matrix uh, in, in in your code yeah I'm not gonna do that because I'm just using vector so I leave it as it is and uh, the final we again repeat uh, the, the inclusion statement but this time with the uh, percentage sign include example.h that's it yeah we don't need to add the uh, on the quotation marks that's it we're gonna save this so we have our module file defined And, and the last component is a uh, setup file. Before I create the setup file, let me uh, move on to first part of point number three. And so uh, we will create something out of these three. We will create a, a, a wrapper file. And then the wrapper file has something to do with the setup.py. So let's just jump ahead a bit. Uh, what we will do now is that we will tell Swig to, uh, to to create the wrapper. So the, the statement is Swig dash C plus plus dash Python example i. So I think it's quite clear what it says. Yeah. So it we are just calling Swig. We say our input is based on C++. We want uh, bindings to Python and the interface file is example.i. So let's just call it, that's it, yeah. So it didn't say anything, but you can see that there is uh, now, uh, there are actually two new files. Uh, there's already this uh, example.py, which would do nothing now. Uh, and then uh, 
is like a wrapper file, CXX. And this, the wrapper file uh, we need to use in the setup.py. So let me just uh, firstly create the setup.py. So then setup.py. Actually, I will copy paste the. Uh, I have it prepared somewhere. So let me just paste it in. Save time. Right, there we go. So, uh, what's critical, of course, are these imports. Uh, uh, and then you have to be very careful, careful about this line because this line says that the the library itself, the Python library itself, will be based on these two source files. So if you have multiple um, C++ files, they, they all have to be listed here and the, the CXX counts as one of them. So that's the wrapper file. So you need to make sure that everything uh, that is like a C++ related to the compiled library is included. You skip the header file though, because the header file is uh, defined in the interface file. Um, and then the rest is pretty much standard. Uh, you can change those things, uh, but I'm, I'm not gonna do that. So let's just leave it as it is and let's uh, save it. All right, so now we have basically completed this line. And uh, uh, yeah, we have done part of the point number three. And the second part of point number three is uh, to uh, basically generate the library for Python. So uh, we need to call Python setup.py build ext dash dash in place. So what we are basically doing is that we are using the the, the setup.py file and we are building external library and this in place just tells the uh, tells the script how to uh, tells Python where to leave the outputs and we say in the same folder. That's it. All right, it generated some warnings, but we don't really care about those. Uh, eventually, what matters is that we have some SO uh, object here. So that's actually the, the library with the code. So uh, you can think of these example.py and this so file that they go together and they represent the, the library so let's just go ahead and test what we've created so i'm gonna open i'm gonna run ipython um i will import the library yeah so we call it example so let's call it let's stay let's do import example it's already there can see what's inside of example and we can see the uh, the square function is there so uh, example dot square and we can get the square of two um, a factor of two values there we go so you can see that you can actually uh, use uh, the vector class from C++ and uh, you can use it uh, in a way that that allows you to interact with Python lists or Python tuples so if you pass in Python tuple it's also gonna work yeah and uh, you can benefit from the huge speed of C++ within within Python so yeah that's gonna do it um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and uh, have a lot of fun with uh, with uh, with Swick.